Okay, like I said, this show is packed this week. Um, retro this week. Uh, so we have a backlog of retro hardware. So we have like a mini like Adafruit retro hardware museum. Um, we have a big collection of clackety keyboards. So this one I've been meaning to post for a while. Um, this is a clackety clacky keyboard from Bloomberg. And as far as I can tell, this is the only mechanical clacky keyboard um, I'll get to cancel one. Um, that's in a museum. And mm. this one happens to be, and we have the same one coincidence. Um, didn't didn't know this until uh, I did some fact checking and some more research. But this one's in the Smithsonian. This is Bill Gross's Bloomberg keyboard. Yeah. And uh, who's Bill Gross? Well, uh, he has a bunch of money and he donated to the museum. So I think that's why they're in Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, really. So, no, he did. Uh, Bill Gross uses Bloomberg keyboard. Uh, in his work at Pacific Investment Management during the 1990s and 2000s, the Bloomberg keyboard is similar to other QWERTY keyboards in its layout, but replaces many of the generic functions with finite specific keys. So you can see it here. There's like gov button and cancel button. And like it has like uh, a microphone and headphones. I think I can mod this to turn it into like an MP3 player. Um, there's some more. Yeah, it's, the speakers are definitely interesting. Yeah. And uh, if you want to see more information, it was made by Maxi Switch in Tucson, Arizona. Maxi Sound Keyboard. I wonder if it was like, you know, they made the maxi sound and then Bloomberg was like, okay, I want you to make a custom yeah. version that like you slap our logo on and like some of the keys are green. Yeah. And Look so at that return. It's like when you click the, hit that return, you're like, I'm buying or I'm selling. There goes a mortgage, you know. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um so it's in the Museum of Natural History, a permanent, permanent museum. Uh you can check that out. So that is retro for the week this week.